mission of Redemption Works is to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ, to make disciples, and to contribute to the development of Africa through biblical education and farming for profit. The vision is to establish a self-sustaining center in Bandaka that will incorporate those different things. So where we can provide biblical education as a foundation for everything that we're doing, where we can set up small model farm plots that will attract interest because of their productivity and the principles that are in, in, involved in, in developing them, and also to model, uh, to try to model through these different activities, uh, stewardship of the resources that God has given us. Now, about a year ago, we were given the opportunity to work on a road rehabilitation project. The government of Congo asked that we would actually participate in, uh, that we would manage the product, uh, project to rehabilitate about 600 kilometers of road. And because I speak two of the local languages as well as French, I was asked if I would manage that. Now we prayed about it and saw this as an opportunity to, uh, to get back into contact with the people from the region and we would begin to uh, model and teach the principles that we believe are important and that we live by. At the same time we would be serving the country, the people and the government through making the road accessible again for traffic and we believe that this uh, road rehabilitation project would be uh, complementary to our ministry in that it would uh, reopen the area for for transport. There's no reason for to increase one's agricultural productivity if he cannot get his produce to market. One of the things that the government is interested in doing is rebuilding the schools in the villages that are currently constructed out of leaves or mud wattle and actually putting in uh, solid brick school buildings with uh, tin roofs. So the access to, through, with, uh, through the good roads will provide more incentive to develop these uh, schools. Well, our greatest needs are for people. What we need is people to come and with their varied skills and abilities and uh, giftings to come and help fill the void to come and teach seminars, to come and, and demonstrate uh, to, as, as farmers, to come and teach biblical truths, to come and train pastors. We need people to come and teach sports. We young people, in, uh, Congolese young people, love sports. Sports is a tremendous uh, avenue for bringing people together and then teaching them how to live and work together and grow together. So we need people who are able to come and teach sports. We need people who will be willing to come and teach mechanics, auto mechanics, carpentry, masonry, construction, anything you can think of. <laughs> Whatever your skills are, they will find a, uh, people who want to learn. Teach English. We need people who are willing to come on a short-term as well as long-term basis to teach English. We need people who will be willing to come and teach French. I'll say we need three M's. We need men, materials. We need materials to do those various jobs, whether it's agricultural materials or equipment to, do, to build roads, equipment to set up shop, to uh, set up an automotive repair shops, to do uh, technical repairs, or, or equipment to do building, to do construction. We need materials. So we need men, we need materials, and we need money. Money just to uh, cover the costs of our operations here. And most of all, we need prayer. We need people to uh, surround this thing, that all that we're doing in prayer, and to be committed to us being here. There is tremendous spiritual opposition to the people of Congo being liberated from their bondage. Bondage to the beliefs, false beliefs, that keep them living in, in a very small world. So we need tremendous prayer support to break through that bondage and to protect the people that do come to help. We are what we think. We're not what we think we are, but we are what we think. And unless we learn how to think biblically, learn to think gospel thoughts, 
we're going to continue to be in bondage. And so it's a matter of teaching the gospel, introducing that by the way that we live, the way we interact with the Bible and the principles that we learn from the scripture, and then demonstrating them in our relationships with people, being consistent as we can, being faithful to God through them by doing exactly what the Bible says to, to the degree that we can, acknowledging Him in everything that we do, not trusting in ourselves, but uh, trusting in God and acknowledge Him in all that we do, that He will in fact, uh, intervene and make straight our paths and make the straight the paths of those who, who put their trust in Him. <laughs> Ah,